As you can see, I went ahead, I ripped my window jams and I went ahead and pre-finished them. That way, I just go ahead and get it done and I'll put them together and then I'll just stick them in the hole as one whole unit. the laser set up over there. I'm going to check the bottom. Let me check the side. I'm gonna give you a quick little rundown what I did when I installed my window jams, door jams, and the shiplap. But I went ahead and cut everything outside, pre-cut all my jams outside, cut them to length, I went ahead and stained them, put two coats of spar urethane. I think it does better, you know, in the sunlight, it holds up a little better. But I got those two coats sanding in between. Same, same with my door, door jams. Got them nice and slick. And then this, the shiplap I went ahead and put, I, I got a coat of kills on there. And then I top coated it with the Sherwin-Williams Pro Classic Enamel, which is pretty pretty great. I sprayed it on there and then I just did a little back brush. I like, the, I like the look of the brush marks. Makes it look old school. But I'm gonna take a one before casing and uh, we're gonna wrap the, wrap the windows with that and the doors as well. And then I have galvanized metal down here. I did leave the jams long. I went out three quarters, this is three quarter. So I left them out long. Cause my plan is I'm gonna run galvanized metal all the way around here, tuck it up tight. And then once I put my casing over the top, you know, it'll tuck in there. And I think it's gonna look pretty clean. I can't wait. I'm, I'm getting pretty excited, Bill. All right, I'm gonna have a galvanized metal right here on this part. So I got my jam sticking out past. I'm gonna take just a little fur and strip. I'm gonna install it right here. And then my galvanized metal will butt this. But then I'll come back, put my casing over the top. The metal will tuck in behind it. And this will give me something to nail the casing to.
I got one little section done. I was trying to do a test run, see see what we were going to do. But that's it. Put J channel on top, which I made out of just some flashing. I got a little piece on the bottom. I'll put a piece in the corner. Of course, I'll do the same here. But I think I'll put the J channel up top. I'm going to leave it off here, I think. I'll put my panel up. And then I'll take the J channel from the bottom and just slide it in at the bottom. That way I don't have to really fight with the metal. But I think it's going to look pretty cool. So here's just a piece of J channel that I made out of just some fl flat flashing. Uh, made this face one inch. I made it three quarters. That way when I tuck it, it's going to be flush. This is going to be finished. This will show. So I wanted it flush. And uh, I'll just use a stapler. And install it or fasten it on there. And then when I put my panel on there, this is what's gonna, you know, that's what's gonna hold the metal to the wall. And the same with the bot on the bottom. On the bottom, I went ahead and marked, put some painter's tape where my studs are. That way when I slide my J channel in, everything's hidden. I know where to screw it. And then I'm also going to use some tile spacers to put underneath the J channel. That way it's not sitting on the concrete and then I'll come back and do a nice clean bead of uh, caulking of some sort. My insulation, it's a little puffy. <laughs> so, so I think I'm going to go in and on this laser, we're going to go ahead and just put a two inch board in there. I just Craig jigged it in there. We'll fasten it here. That way, when I put the metal in there, I think the metal's kind of thin. It's going to, it would, it would kind of bow the metal. So I'm going to put that in and have a nailer right in the middle for something to, for the metal to uh, fasten to. And then I'll just put a piece here, twist under here. That way I've got something, something to screw to. Move the laser down one inch that way we'll be right in the middle of the nail. Just went ahead and made a little bracket to go around the receptacle because I'm afraid that the metal's gonna kind of be pushy right there, so just put this as a, a solid backing. Alright, we went ahead and turned the breaker off just in case. Just in case. Cut your little taper back about an inch. It's got a hem on the inside. Push it in tight and won't, won't 
that flex on you. I do my window casing, just take a combination square, set it about 3 sixteenths. So, 3 sixteenths, 3 sixteenths on each side. A little mark in the middle there. And then on the bottom, and then you just put your casing right to that mark and leaves you a perfect reveal. All right, I'm gonna try this a little different than I did yesterday because I slid the J channel in last, which I had receptacles. This little section of wall, I do not have receptacles. So I just went ahead and solid mounted everything and just left the end loose. I'm then gonna try to slide it in from the end. And I put my cut side up. That way I have a nice factory clean cut. You're not looking down in there and it's reflecting, seeing little wavy lines. You don't wanna see none of that. So let's see if this works. I got a little too tight, Bill. <laughs> a little too tall. Could have used a few pounds. What I got here? I need 37 and three quarter-ish. Eh, it's a little fat. Not much, but I'll go back. Cut it. Cut. Edit. We'll do it again. All right. I cut it. Let's see. Let's see if it works. A little easier. Oh yeah. Much easier. Always helps when you cut it the right length. Heck yeah, man. Got it. Guy always told me if you got it, you better go to the doctor and get rid of it. That's what I'm talking about. Right
plumbing action. Okay. How about these lasers, man? Those are awesome. Get it set up right in the middle of my nailer and that's all you have to do. I want to mess with chalk lines. Keeps it nice and clean. Yesterday I had all my studs marked with some painter's tape because I thought I was going to have to fasten through this into the studs, but actually the bottom plate is tall enough that uh, this is only an inch, so bottom plate's an inch and a half, so I can screw right into there every time, so it's, it's solid wood backing, so that worked out perfect. And this metal, it doesn't like necessarily lock on really well like a D-rib metal, so I'm just kind of finding a happy place right there in the middle and then I can come over here and kind of check it, adjust it if it needs to be just moved up a little bit here and there. And the best way I could find to get a pretty decent, a pretty accurate measurement, because like I said, this, this doesn't lock in super, super tight. Just grab a small piece, fit it in there, make sure you're in there flat, and just take pencil and mark it. Kind of does a little better. Fifteen, fifteen. I ripped my piece, just slid it past. I'll just sneak my channel in there Fasten it. I'll just slide it back in there there we go and of course I'll have casing right here and I did not allow for three quarters when I did my door jams so I'll have to actually put a little fur and strip and then I'll run the casing over the top of it and hide it in behind my reveal. But I didn't know what I was going to put on the wall at the time when I did the doors. So that's why it's a little shy. So I went ahead and just turned the breaker off. Unhooked my receptacles. That way I'm going to go ahead and do like I did back here last night. And, and mount the J-channel on the bottom and then just slide it in from the, from the end down here. See how we did. Not too shabby, that'll do. That'll do, pig, that'll do. Well, 
there's another little section done. Get that over there. My daughter's got a little cat biscuit and we're gonna make him a little cool little door to go in and out of the bedroom in there. So uh, we'll see. We'll figure that out and kind of make it pretty neat. But it's getting there. Well, there's a the little cat door. I just took some galvanized flashing and bent up and wrapped the jam basically. And trimmed it out with some J channel, run the metal around it. Easy as that, and I'll probably do a little something a little cooler on the other side. Make a little roof or, or something. Something that looks kind of cool. So the same lather strip that we put around the ceiling, I'm just gonna Cover this up about a quarter inch. Just have a nice finished spot on the top. Good night. And then just take a little gauge block. I already know my metal and all my ship lap is level, so just use a little. Alright, I've got these stud bays, I'm getting ready to make a pantry, so I'm just going to use these just as fillers, that way when I put the trim on, I've got something to nail to and not the metal. So I'm just going to, got my laser set up plumb. This is, this will be what the edge of my uh, jam will go to. will determine the height of what the bottom of my pantry will be. Plus it gives me something for the metal to screw to as well. Just use uh, the Craig jig, put some pocket hole screws in there just to hold it a little, a little tighter. Give me a little more meat so I can uh, fasten the J-channel to. Definitely could have used a two by two or something, but I had some one by scrap, so I just utilized it and I'm gonna use it. Here we go, got the last piece. Beautiful. That's what I've been waiting for right there. All right, there is my video on how we installed galvanized metal here in the living quarters of the barn, right under the ship lap. We wanted that rustic look since it's a barn, so uh, that's what we went with, but the walls are finished and we're, and we're moving on to the next phase of the project, which I'm getting excited, but oh, I'm just gonna get, that's all you're gonna get, a little sneak peek, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but my next video is how I installed the cabinets, how I installed the apron front sink, and a big one, custom poured concrete countertops, man. I had a local guy out of McEwen, Tennessee, former pour them, dude. Waterfall edge, 700 pounds. Dude, this dude is awesome. He is, he is great at what he does. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that. It, it, it looks sharp. We got some backsplash I got to do as well. Uh, appliances are being delivered and we're about to button this thing up. So, so thanks for watching.